really don't know what drove me, but somebody was driving me uh, to make money, to be a business. So uh, I started this silver refining business. I realized I couldn't succeed in this business. Uh, four of the companies had tried it, they failed. And I was praying to God about this disappointment that I had. But all at once he spoke to my heart and said, Stanley, it doesn't need to be a disappointment. You don't need to go broke in your business. Turn it over to me and I'll make it succeed. I said, Lord, if you take this business and make it succeed, I will honor you in every way I possibly can. Well, the first time I went to the attorney, uh, I said, I've come today to make God my senior partner. I'd like to have you make out a legal paper that's effective. We're turning 51% of our business over to the Lord. He looked at me kind of peculiar. And then he said, you want to do what? He said, we'll incorporate your little business. We'll issue stock. And then we'll establish a nonprofit religious foundation. And we'll give 51% of the stock to the foundation. So that's what we did. Well, United States Plastic Corporation is a uh, industrial distributor of plastic products that are used in industry and factories. And, and uh, we distribute product uh, across the United States. We produce about $4 million a year, and it comes to about $120 million that uh, the company has given for the ministry of the Lord. Then in 1955, I was in South America, my wife and I, and we were speaking in a church. As I was speaking, something happened. The Spirit of God came upon that meeting in a very precious way. But this time, God began to talk to me. Stanley, what's the greatest value in all the world? As I looked at those souls there, I knew the answer. The Bible says one soul is the greatest value in all the world. And then the Lord spoke to me the third time and said, Stanley, would you go back to the United States and turn your entire business over to me and use the prophets to spread the gospel around the world? I said, Lord, you already have 51%. Isn't that enough? And then he spoke to me once more. Stanley, on the cross, I paid it all for you. Now you're my disciple, and uh, I want you to do what I ask you to do. Some people will look at me and say, Stanley, you know, what you do doesn't make sense. I said, I'm a Christian, and uh, I want to be obedient to the Lord, and he has shown me that this is the way to do it, so that's the way I'm I'm going to do it. Hard to give up a, a company because uh, you put your whole life into it. But obedience comes first. I never thought I did anything important when I did that. You know, I just wanted to please the Lord. 